Um, good evening, everyone. Hope you guys are doing good today. Um, so welcome, even those of you guys who are new. So what uh, you'll be taught here is the footprint strategy, which is a strategy that you uh, that is applicable on all the time frames, which is a strategy that is, that is applicable on either stocks, currencies, volatility index, um, basically everywhere. So. What I want to start with is simply breaking down the strategy. And after that, we're going to take uh, uh, on the next Zoom meeting, we're going to be tackling the questions. Now, I will need you guys to pay attention to what I'm about to do. I'm just going to be illustrating on the main chat. Um, what is it all about? I'm going to be starting with NASDAQ. To check what, what has been transpiring here. So with NASDAQ in the past few days, um, there was a full footprint that formed, and after that, there was a first layer that formulated. When the market went up, but when we draw the same setup in the opposite direction. <clears throat> this is what happened. So many, if you would have probably entered a buy, you would have closed when the market broke there. So now looking at a very much detailed form, uh, I want to double check something in terms of what the market is about to do now.
Okay. So in this case, some could have used that one as a footprint and some could have used that one as a first layer. And if you would have used that one as the first layer, of course, this will be time for you to be on the buy of the trade. And if it is on the, um, of course, when you want to buy, uh, you'll take a look at the divergence and from the divergence, you'll be able to spot that from this point to that point. From this point to that point, you can see that when the market was here, the stochastic was there. When the stochastic was there, the market was there. So that's what we call divergence, which is a technique that we use in order to make any form of entry on the markets. So now, Of course, the last thing that you confirm with your divergence is the crossing over between the two lines inside the stochastic. The settings are 533 of the stochastic that we use. Can I ask a question? Oh, I can. Yeah, just a matter of taking this thing up. After this, I want us to go to As thirty. Is that okay? Because okay, what happens in US thirty? It is the same thing that happens. <laughs> so even here, if you can be able to check, so this will create a horizontal line footprint some can use that one as a first layer and find the market has been reacting so if you would have used this one you'll see that the market is broken down there blah, 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 blah. then it'll just be a matter of looking on where the market is heading right now now looking at what is happening there was a very clear footprint here and the market hasn't closed above here so the best thing we can do is wait for it and close above so that we can spot divergence between this point and that point where we can take it up like that. And just a matter of waiting here and from there just to show that the strategy is applicable everywhere i'm just gonna randomly pick up a stock randomly pick up a stock okay we just took a look at bitcoin and i'm going to show bitcoin but Okay, now uh, it won't work that much because of Bitcoin is not 
and all things. So from here, I'm exposed to it 2015. So let's lower to one week. Even if it's one week. Say one day. Some could have used these ones, it's the footprint. Some could have used this ones as the first layer. So Bitcoin started by making some consolidations here. And even though there was those consolidations, there's no way to make money because footprint is everywhere. It doesn't matter how the chart is. The market is the same anyway. So you could have had an opportunity to place a survey. Another one, you can see as an opportunity to place a buy here. So an opportunity to eat. Let me say an opportunity to eat a sell here an opportunity to eat a buy here. Now you have an opportunity to eat a sell going down there. Also you have an opportunity to start buying the Bitcoin. So things from it as its existence, any market is the same, even the new markets like this, the Bitcoin market and everything of the sort. You can trade it using this, you can estimate uh, what you can do, find obviously a crypto platform and analyze uh, doing this. Or just simply um, 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 just simply do the same thing. So the big movement that happened or what made uh, the big crypto move to me, it is very straightforward because if I look at this and I see after that, I see a divergence. After that, I see a divergence and I know that the markets are the same. When it comes to mother markets, they're absolutely the same. So I would know that from this position, meaning from the 20th of May, 2016, I would have known that, okay, the Bitcoin market was about to be crazy. So from there, even if you can just simply but for until now, yes, sir. If you hold that until now, uh, uh, you should, be, yes, sir. it's something else. Yes, a small one here is too much money, guys. Even on the on this one, I is too much money. Because you guys can see in about how many years? Uh 26. What was it? Okay, from 20 from 2016 until 2020. So in about eight years. No, four, I mean, six years, exactly. Six years. Six years, you can make definitely money. You can be able to make, I don't know, 
but to me it seems like I said so even if there's a new um whatever cryptocurrency in a block and they they put it as a stock or put it as an asset whatever you can simply do this analyze it using the footprint because it is literally everywhere there's nothing you need to worry about because it makes sense whenever every movement is about to happen you definitely know how to comprehend it because everything is clear uh, mm, let's go back to the daily time frame I want to show you guys what happened here recently and the movements that have been happening. That's your footprint. That's your first layer. I mean, you can see the market went there into your direction. And use this as a footprint. If there's no type of first layer, you could see, you saw, what you see what happened footprint now we are here so there was a very very beautiful divergence that happened the market has already moved up so meaning let's check when this when did this thing and i'm sure that also here you can also try to find the footprint uh, let me delete it so that i can or delete when I get to one minute, one hour, I mean. So from there, I would say, wait, okay, from D1 to D. Okay, so from around here, I would have knew, uh, I would have known that, okay, Bitcoin, we can expect it to move around this point and go up from there. And even now I can still say this Bitcoin is about to still continue going up. Because why? It makes sense. A footprint never lies. Like, even if it's a bigger movement, overall movement on a bigger time frame. <laughs> Like whenever it, it is starting to um, go to the opposite direction, anything of that kind of sort, you'll definitely need uh, know, know that, right? So I want to show you guys any form of, sorry. Mm, yeah, let's go back to crypto. I want to show you guys any other. Ugh. Any other crypto? I will just choose randomly. And if we find a chart. I'm choosing. Ugh. Choose them randomly. Okay. Uh, well, I chose the BTC. Okay. Okay. Let's just find something different on the crypto side. Hmm. Let's try the Ethereum. Ethereum, uh, it, mo it moves the same as Bitcoin, so. Move the same as Bitcoin. So I don't see any difference there. So now it is still even going up because it makes sense. So even this one, 
or definitely known what is going to happen about it. Advanced uh, investment decisions based on the cryptocurrency. So I'm working on something with regards to this cryptocurrency thing that I will introduce, I don't know when, but it is something that will be very interesting to end. You guys can also be able to make money for yourselves on it. It is very much easy, very straightforward. And everything just connects the dot and it totally makes sense with everything. So there's a consistency also on it. So it is something that will be very good, trust me. Uh, let's take a look at more. The reason why I'm showing uh, trading in this way is to show what is happening in the market to train your guys' eyes in order to find these opportunities. So understand fully how this market works because that's why I also uh, normally um, emphasize practicing because of course that's the one that will make you uh, go about it very better. Uh, everything is same, yeah? I mean like footprint, first layer, even on you see you could have entered way much earlier so you can trade this thing as a pair and after that you can also trade it um, as an investment kind of a, an approach you can actually use anything. So what is happening? It's just practically what is uh, also happening everywhere because where the market You can look if you are if you're already involved in the stock markets and i know stock market you have to also go about um looking at obviously publicly traded companies and make more research and try to come to a point where you make sense out of uh the reports that are being uh that are out with regards to what those Talks and everything of that kind. But what I can tell you is that the answers are on the chart because of if there is a certain way a chart is moving and whenever there's any form of activity happening on a certain company on the stock exchange, regardless of whatever is happening, there will be a movement or there will be a movement, um, an overall movement, of course, that is uh, favoring what is happening on that event. And whether it's a buy or sell or an uptrend movement or, or downtrend movement, it will happen in a form of a footprint at the end of the day. Why? Because of if I go into a stock, a stock asset right now, I can be able to look at that. Let's check any random stock, of course, with the, with the proper chart. Now a cut chart like this, that's where, okay, you will see that, okay, here there is a gap and you might not, when it is time, let's say, for example, to take, when it is time for divergence and it's in, there's a gap that happens there. That's when you can find some difficulties, but the, those ones that are very much clear, um, stock i mean uh, stock assets that are very much clear which you can you can be able to utilize and it's not like those gaps happen all the time okay so 
let's check out. I want to make an example with one. Okay, for instance, even though these are the gaps, let's take a look at this. I mean, it's the same thing. It's the same thing over and over again, of course. So that's the footprint. There was no time for first layer. So was there a divergence, a very clean divergence. So even if you trade it from here to there, from here to there, if you're a billionaire and you have, uh, or whatever, where you, you have at least like a hundred million in your Bloomberg terminal, what do, if you don't know Bloomberg Terminal, it's a software where you can be have uh, access to uh, the real markets of the stocks and everything of that kind of sort. Two days ago, you would have estimated this thing to at least come to this position or go above this position. Because why? Because we normally know that when we play, when we uh, use divergence in order to enter this trade, the trade normally goes beyond this. And after that, that's when we start adding more re-entries. So this place, you definitely guaranteed it. So right now you'll be in a situation where hedge funds normally with this kind of amount of movement, they make billions. They don't make uh, uh, stupid money. So, of course, when you um, 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 have the funds, of course, you can take a trade like this, but at the end of the day, you're allowed to also include your risk and everything. But right now we're talking about the retail trading kind of uh, operation, which is very much clear according to how we trade and everything seems to be working. Nothing that we can say, okay, it is giving us doubt based on what we're doing. Everything just connects the dot, in Jay. So it's just a matter of learning how to implement it very perfectly. And even these gaps, these gaps, uh, sometimes they can be like uh, news, what is happening uh, with uh, the company or whatever. And they see that uh, um, um, this uh, can very, very impact the markets. And obviously they don't, they wouldn't want a lot of people to win. And Forex market and the stock market is the same principle. Majority of people lose money. And when majority of people lose money, of course, the information that we, we are fed, it won't be in our favor. So we just have to what? Do the opposite of what we are fed. Simple as that. But in a situation where there's a jump like this, you, there's nothing you can really do. But normally you can avoid that when you know that there's a news or a report coming or a certain thing happened, the company burned, the company lost some assets, company sh um, sold some shares, whatever, whatever. Um, its net profit uh, was not good as last year, whatever, whatever that might affect. Or you can just check if you want to get into the economics of it, go and make a research about a certain company what do they do? What do they do? What affects their livelihood? What affects their profit each and every year? And how is the structure orchestrated from the inside? But now when you start going into the inside, you won't find full information because there's no way you can find full information and be able to utilize it uh, because that's insider trading is illegal. You'll be arrested. You know, you can make billions with that if you find that information. Even people who own those companies, uh, like it, it can get very, 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 very uh, deep to a point where you can be uh, implicated for a lot of things. Guys. So, but once you have a chart like this, you can operate effectively because everything just makes sense here and you can be able to see how things will unfold with the footprint. So that's how 
it is very uh, powerful and straightforward and something that is working on the forex market or even the stocks market you must be able to see it with your own eyes if you can see it that means it is not working you have to convince yourself that that thing is you have to re-add or spice up things on top to find out that thing it is working if you even if you can just um analyze randomly you will see that okay this thing at some point it is going up using the footprint even if you were not sure after the, we know after the breaking of the footprint even if you were not sure where to enter it, but if you have a long perspective and you are patient you could have just made a bet on this thing and just see what happens it was going to happen you can make money in, in the stock market using this because it's the same thing forex and stock market is the same thing but it depends on one different level hedge funds they go into much details of economics uh, and uh, the econometrics those things they go into much details of how the companies are run on daily basis what the ceos uh, reports are what do they entail in order to anticipate what might happen there but you don't want to stress yourself for that whereas you can uh, see everything here because whatever decision they are making like it will follow the footprint because of the footprint it is how the market moves and when we measure everywhere the market moves the same way the market just moves the same way everywhere that's why the footprint is applicable everywhere and when you have that what more else do you need you have something that is waking in front of your eyes just a matter of knowing to know how to use it when to need to use it and you must obviously take advantage uh, of whatever is happening so that even when you hear that there's a new cryptocurrency in the blog whatever 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 you can and when there's hype around it obviously when there's hype around something that's where they make most of the money because people are misinformed about it and of course they will lose money this system is created for people to lose money into it okay it's a game it's a financial warfare it's a war here it's not something no one is coming to give you one billion for free like you can't do that so 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 of course you need to fight for your own knowledge and fight whatever you receive because if it's if something is deceiving obviously not it will not work for you and if someone is feeding you information they're feeding you information so that you can invest and they know that the information they fed you won't bring you to their level so you're losing money to them so that they can catch it on the other side it is that kind of that's what forex market and uh, all the financial markets are when someone is losing money someone is winning all the money people are losing it is going somewhere guys it is not ending some and like the financial markets is the banks because of the the banks controls it controls this the banks of the world the, i mean major reserve banks of countries the, the ones that controls the inflation all those things and inflation uh your unemployment stats and everything of those kind of all news events